are the five alts. A vampire. A witch. A voodoo priestess. A naturist. A modern primitive. We've invited 10 ordinary people to live in our house. And experience our world. <laughs> We will challenge them. You have five glasses of blood to drink. <laughs> Judge them. He has to grow or go. <laughs> he just... And eliminate them one by one. Please leave immediately. Who will dare to open their mind? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Who will impress us the most? Is it what we're looking for in this house? We'll reward the last guest remaining with $100,000. This truly is more than just a game. Welcome to the Mad, Mad House. on Mad Mad House. Don's vampire ritual shocked the guests. Would anybody be willing to actually step up and be drained completely? Before I, I'm gonna get drained out of my energy, I wanna know what the f is going on. And ignited a firestorm of controversy. It was irresponsible and reckless what he did to know. The guests continued bashing Nicole. It took you 10 days to finally have a conversation with someone, but when they come to the office, like this, hoping the alts would heed their warning. I felt like she didn't want to get to know us, but Nicole fought back. I honestly feel at this point, Eric, that you don't want to get to know me, and it does, you don't give two sh about getting to know me. When Avocado challenged the guests to strip away their inhibitions, Nicole streaked her way to victory. Nicole, you are the winner of this week's trial. Woo! At elimination, the alts revealed a surprise twist. We will not cast our votes. Tonight, all of you will be voting to eliminate a fellow guest. Forcing the guests to turn on each other. But the alts had one more trick up their sleeve. No, you have not been eliminated. We are the alts. We are the only ones who can select who will be eliminated. Five guests still remain. Who will the alts eliminate tonight? I've never felt so good in my entire life. What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot, dude. The only person I can think of giving the necklace to was Noel because maybe he was being more competitive. To me, I'm just reacting to that competition. Yeah, the last thing I want is everything to be all weird right now. Well, Make that very it is. clear. It is, yeah, but it shouldn't be. The know. only one who should be feeling weird right now is me, and I'm not. No, but you know what? It, they put us in a, in a bad spot. I didn't know what I to do. That. I didn't know where to go. I wanted to put it on myself, but that wasn't an option, of course. I was basically. And all that it really did was make it more aware to me um, that we are indeed in a competition. To be real honest with you, I just, at this point, I don't think it's a decision that we need to make. You guys see our progress. You see how we're doing. I feel blindsided a little bit, to be honest. I think that was the whole point. <laughs> I hated it. We felt like we were tricked, and I was really mad. It doesn't matter if you kick me off for saying this, but or eliminate me for saying this, but I don't, I don't trust any of you anymore. That really that. bothers me. If you're, if well, you're, okay uh, if it bothers you. going to just crumble like that in faith and friendships and connections if you're not going to look deeper. I don't know what you guys expect. What happened after this strange elimination ceremony tonight was disturbing and and 
made me angry. To see you just in a, in a, a flicker, not even stop to think, but just immediately go, oh, the world's against me and you're, I can't trust you. Maybe I can have a chance to ask one serious question. Just what the heck did you think that you were getting into? I don't know. I don't know. There's a trust that I had there. It's, it's not there anymore. And that's why I'm saying the things I am. I'm just shocked and disappointed because I've championed you so much. I've been so impressed with what, how you've evolved. Can I just say one thing? I know you guys are going to have Nicole Winner anyway. I already know that. Well, right there is a cop-out statement of actually you. giving up. I'm yeah. really disappointed in you. I think you guys are buying it. I'm sorry. You guys are. We're buying what? what? Buying her still. There's something about her that's just really fake, and I, I don't like that. And I, I'm just being honest. If you really think that we're going through all this just so we can give Nicole the money. No, no, then, no, I did not and that say we're that. No, listen to what I'm saying, that we're buying her thing. If you really think we're that naive, then I'm very disappointed. I have fought for you harder than you know mm. to keep you in this game. Mm. You have no idea. You're all still here. You still are in the game. You still have another chance. You still have another opportunity to grow. If I had been in her shoes, I would have probably been pissed off too. But um, I think that She's got to learn strategy in her life. She's got to learn, you know, to, to be tactical. And I think her response is going to hurt her in future elimination ceremonies. Hello, wakey, wakey. Today is my trial. I need you guys to be well dressed for it. So therefore, we're gonna go shopping today. Yes, I love shopping. Okay. <laughs> okay. Today, the Alts took us on a shopping trip. I think it was well needed. We all needed to relax a little bit and let loose, and it was exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, thank you. I'm taking yeah. this project on right here. Hey, hey, I'm with you, I'm with you. You're coming with us, Noel. Okay. I feel like Pretty Woman. Yeah, Gary. Well, you don't look like Pretty Woman, just, just like so we're clear. <laughs> Can I try it on? Yeah, you want to try that on? Yeah. Avocado had told me, you know, I need to, to change my wardrobe, which I found ironic, you know, getting wardrobe advice from a nudist. Oh, beautiful arms, We got to give it up for no! That could be the, the new fall look for me. Initially, they wanted me to dress like a woman. I put on some lingerie, and I felt very comfortable. <laughs> this is no <laughs> Ladies! People were just sitting there covering their mouths, going, oh my god. Can anyone help me find the cap? Hey. He was one person in the world that actually did of the nuts to be able to do that. <laughs> when he ran naked down the street, I saw something in his eye. I was like, whoa, that guy went way far into the realm of getting into some serious trouble, not only with the law, but psychologically. <laughs> I felt that acting silly like that is not really a challenge for Noel. But what will really be a challenge is to dress him in a way that was classy and sophisticated, but still cool. Try Actually, with this, that. We'll go with that. Okay, because we'll I'm. Try with this first. Try with this okay, first. Yeah. So we're gonna learn how to match the colors up. Need some work, doesn't it? Yeah. Woo. I can hear you. <laughs> Happy for you. For me, no. Thank you. He's dressed, huh? Uh, yeah. This yeah, is it every day. <laughs> LA designer or um, New York? the boots. Sexy mama all the way through. Nicole is not fake, but she's very much concerned with appearances and the surface things, and maybe it's not what we're looking for in the winner. Fiona, check this out. Oh, yeah. oh that's cute. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, wow. Look how sexy she is. Yeah, great, great, great choice there, Jamie. Jamie found this really beautiful dress, and I was just like, yeah, go with it. Woo! Look at yourself! Look how you look! You pick up chicks in that. I'm out. No, fashion show. Oh, Woo! Oh, very, very Yeah, I kind of feel like 
you know, I, I should be on my way to the Regal Beagle. I kind of feel like Jack Tripper. Anything Noel does um, just tickles the alts. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm getting a little sick of it. Coming up on Mad Mad House, the guests find Don's trial hard to swallow. <laughs> And the pressure to survive causes friendships to crumble. I'm done with those two right now, I'm gonna be honest. I saw a chance to get Noel out of the way, and I went for it. I was a little bit upset from the previous elimination, and so that might be used against me. I'm going to try hard for every single trial, and I'm going to want to win. Tonight we have Dawn's trial. I'm expecting cow eyeballs and dog balls. Uh, not really looking forward to it at all. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, Walked into the room and there was blood. And right off the bat, I knew I was in trouble. Welcome to my trial. The winner of this trial will be granted three privileges. The winner is safe at the upcoming elimination ceremony. The winner has permission to sit within the alt chamber during the deliberation ceremony. Should our votes result in a tie, the trial winner will cast the tie-breaking vote. Nicole, since you won last week's trial and we didn't send anyone home, you and tonight's trial winner will be safe from elimination. Nicole not being involved in the elimination process really kind of pissed me off. It just puts me in a real tough predicament. I was really stoked. I really was, I was just like, Whew. I don't have to drink the blood, <laughs> But I still got to play the game. Drinking blood allows me to ingest the life force energy of a person directly and attain a state of higher consciousness. Tonight, you'll be drinking blood. <laughs> Each of you has been dealt a hand of cards. Each card has the name of a guest on one side. You'll each choose a card and pour the blood from one of your cordial glasses into the goblet of the guest that you have chosen. At the end of four rounds, you will drink the blood in your goblet. The first to finish wins. Everyone, please choose a card. Nicole, please reveal your card. Eric. Please pass one of your glasses of blood to Eric. Every last gooey little warm sustenance drop. Nope. I too chose Eric. <laughs> oh. There you go. Now, Eric, <laughs> it is your turn. No. Shocking. <laughs> Lana, let's see your card. Uh, wow. You're gonna have a bloody good time tonight. <laughs> Jamie. Again, I add to the fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Now this concludes round one. Please pick a new card. Lana. I'm so sorry. Lana as well. No. no. What happened? Okay. 
Now we're going to go through the third. No. I picked Jamie. Three's a charm. No. <laughs> this is the final round. Nicole. Cheers, Jamie. And I went really even steep when I gave one to each person. I'm not here to make any enemies. Lana. I need to win this trial, and I think Noel is the competition here, so I went Noel again. <laughs> Lana. It is time to chug. It is time to chug. Noel, you have seven glasses of blood. Eric, you've received six. Lana, you have only three. And Jamie, you also only have three glasses of blood. When I place my glass upon this table, you will begin. Congratulations. <clears throat> you, along with Nicole, are safe for this week's elimination. But I think Lana kind of knew that after her blow up, after the last elimination ceremony she needed to win this trial, she really saved herself, I think. I could not get the blood down. It just kind of stuck there instead of going down. I'm not good chugging blood, I guess. Lana, I got a water. You're all right? Is it coming out? Uh-huh. The blood was disgusting. Oh, gosh. And aftertaste was horrible. There's a towel and water, right? If you crack the door open. Thanks, Eric. <sighs> Probably no, drank the most, but I he had so much. I finished mine, too. Wow. You did at the end? Just because, dude, you got me so bad. Yeah, good on you. That I wanted to prove a point. Mm. Well, I figured you were my competition. I know why you did it. I need. But it was more like if someone's going to challenge me like that, I'm not going to fall to, I'm going to rise It was pretty hardcore. Cool. You got nailed pretty badly. Noel and I have you know, formed a friendship and somewhat of an understanding and trust, and that might have been broken tonight. But, uh, I saw a chance of to get Noel out of the way, and, and I went for it. If I wanted to meet uh, you know, friends, I would have gone to camp. Yeah, I got nailed pretty bad. That's, so are you worried right. about tonight's elimination? Like who's gonna go or whatever? I feel for them. Yeah, so she had asked me something along the lines of, what do you think about each person? And so when it came up to Noel, I had mentioned certain things that Eric had said. Like, this is what Eric told me, at least, that he was, uh, 
he, he's 25 and he's a janitor at a barber shop. Mm-hmm. And like, just the lack of motivation or something. You know? But is he still, have you guys seen him drinking or anything? I've seen him just take cold medicine, but that's just. He's taking cold medicine? I think he's just had a tough time sleeping. I, I don't mean, know. But like in the last couple of days, have you seen him taking it? Yeah. I did consider confronting Noel uh, directly, but I thought first that I wanted to consult my fellow alts and my ancestors. I did do cast Obi, which is a form of divination to my ancestors, and ask them had he actually utilized the cold medication, and I was told yes. In my experience, the ancestors don't lie. Coming up on Mad Mad House, Lana's scheming turns the alts against Noel. He lied. Oh, I'm so mad. I believe Lana. She wouldn't lie. And Noel makes a stand. I don't like being misrepresented for something that I'm not doing. Oh, I'm so mad, because I hate liars. I could deal with anything else, but don't sit up there and tell a big lie to me. Mm. And they said, yes, he's taking it. I trust Lana. She wouldn't lie. If that's the case, he's getting a necklace from me tonight. The first time. Out of respect for Tashia, I'm going to take in what she says. But I try to tend to stay away from drama like that, in a sense. And he remember he swore off and offered to give them to me. I don't feel like I have an addiction. I don't need these. He said he doesn't have a problem. Interesting to us. The fact that he lied. I'm just, I'm really pissed. Wow. Because we have put so much into him. Gotta tell you too, Don, while you're here. I found out through Lana that Noel has been taking his cold medication again. Oh, really? That he basically lied. I think that Lana is definitely snitching on purpose, but at the same time trying to make herself look like the perfect little angel. Just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Don't talk about cold medicine anymore. I don't. I know, but just don't. Because uh, I mean, I know you don't, but just don't even bring it up. She's just like, oh, does he drink? I'm like, I've seen him just take cold medicine once in a while because it's, you know, just to, to sleep. And then she's just like, you still see him taking cold medicine? I guess once in a while he does or something. Oh, man, I d- f- <laughs> Once in a- what? No! Lana talking without any knowledge of what she was talking about. I think she basically packed my luggage and kicked me out the front door. I don't take it. Like, I haven't taken it, like, in a long ass time. Really? Yes. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I'm done. Thank you. remember who gave you zero glasses of blood? <laughs> I remember that, who and I remember who two? gave you two, too. Do you know why I gave you two? <laughs> yeah. They'll be used against you. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> the competition in the house has definitely picked up. Lana has realized that Noel may be playing a game, and that's huge because Lana is the one that's going to be sitting in during deliberations. And Noel also gave Lana two bloods during the last trial, and I didn't give her any. So I was definitely playing that whole angle. And I think Lana might have it out for Noel. And it certainly doesn't suck uh, from my point of view. Yeah. I feel honestly right now that you and Nicole would feel like interested. She's completely trash talked my name and yeah. buddied up with Eric. I'm like, what the? They're hell? in together. They're. You know. And she's safe for no reason. No reason. She got lucky. That's fine because if I'm, if I'm here after elimination, I'm not around. That I started last night getting serious. I'm not playing. I will take anyone I have to down. They're breaking my trust. So I'm gonna go after them next. I'm not putting my trust in anybody. It's gonna be all out war. Take no prisoners because at this point, we're not here to make best friends. Thank you, guests, for joining us for dinner. For one of you, it will be your last. 
Please take a seat. I like to propose a toast to the spirit of truth. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. The spirit of truth speaks through all of us at all times. Cheers. The one thing I can't stand is dishonesty. It's deliberate, willful dishonesty. I have to ditto what Fiona said. Liars really bug me, especially when you could tell the truth and it would be okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one thing that bothers me the most is when people people think they know something about me and instead of asking me to clarify, they live in that assumption. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. I'd like to go from you guess between you guess who you trust the most and who you trust the least. Coming up on Mad Mad House, Lana attempts to put the final nail in Noel's coffin. I actually haven't seen Noel change. And the alts face their most difficult decision yet. I will cast the first vote. I'd like to know from you guess, between you guess, who you trust the most and who you trust the least. I think I trust um, Lana the most. Um, I think she's been honest, genuine from day one. And um, who I trust the least probably be Nicole. I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Probably feel the same way about you. That's something we have to work on. Um, who I trust the most would be uh, Jamie. She's not out to double cross anyone or get in anybody's way. And who I trust the least is interesting. Probably Lana. But she's the one who I feel would be in the way the quickest to come to a conclusion. That could be damaging. Now, I kind of knew that trash talking Lana at the table wouldn't help me in any way. But then again, I had to pinpoint the person who got me in that predicament. Noel, you know, if somebody asked me a question, I, I am honest with them saying, you know, what I see. All that bothers me is that I don't like being misrepresented for something that I'm not doing. And I've heard a lot of comments tonight about truth, and I hate liars, and maybe I'm being paranoid, but I feel eyes burning into me. Which is why I'm making a very clear distinction. So you have not taken it since you told me that you weren't going to I have not taken it once since you told me. And I'm, I'm standing behind that. I'm sorry, I thought, I, I thought you said that you took it yesterday or, I, or some conversation. I didn't know, and I didn't say, I didn't say to you, I, I said I thought I saw him take cold medicine a couple of times in that sense. I said, has it been within the last couple of days? And she said, yeah. See? So she probably just made a mistake. You gotta think I... before you speak, yeah. please. Nobody ever liked the snitch. I'm pretty sure she knows what she's doing and she's not exactly completely innocent. And if, if I misperceive, then I stand corrected. So um, as this week's trial winner, Lana, you can join us in the deliberation chamber. See you after, at the stroke of midnight, the elimination ceremony. Before today, I saw Noel as a really good friend of mine, but I was wondering if he started to think I was competition. So right now, the only thing that I can think of that would keep me in the game for sure is just to hurt Noel's position in this game. Lana, please find a seat at the opposite end of the alt chamber. Please listen closely and do not speak unless spoken to. Let's start our discussion tonight with Eric. Eric, he takes more and leans more towards the women. He avoids the one-on-ones with me. So that would be my reason 
why I would place a necklace around Eric's neck. My personal take on what's happening with Eric is that he's nervous. He has been nervous the past couple days. Maybe maybe he needs to suck it up and not be nervous to, to win the prize. From, then he was nervous in my eyes from the day one. Everything we've been saying to Eric, no matter what may happen in a day-to-day -day thing, is sinking in. He's taking this very seriously. Yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed with Eric. Eric sit there and like kiss Lana's ass because she's gonna be the deciding vote. Go ahead. You know? I'm done with those two right now. I'm be honest. I have my doubts right now about what Lana's intentions are. She knows what she did. Yeah. He knows. If I get kicked off tonight, I am mouthing off hard. If they eliminate me because they think I'm popping pills, all that's gonna prove to me is, is that they're hypocritical, is that they pass judgment, and I'm gonna leave here um, kind of angry and kind of pissed off. I racked my brain with Noel, even the cold medicine thing, you know? I wanted to wait till we heard for sure, and it was a misunderstanding, that's cool. He more than vindicated himself at dinner. He's been very funny, quite outrageous, as was evidenced at the shopping trip. There it is. <laughs> While I know his basic personality is one of being wild and crazy and out there, I feel like he uses that as an escape. I think he could, I think he could flip if he really, if he was really provoked. I, I think he could get really angry. Noel is naturally compelled to be wild and crazy. And that's not something that I would want to change in him. I think that's kind of a positive thing. Lana, what are your thoughts on Noel? I definitely know that he's in it for a game because of certain things he said what to me. What did he say? OK, well, this is direct quote. So you, I'm not being igno ignorant in saying this. But he said he probably wouldn't be a different person when he comes home. Let's, let's move on to Jamie. I feel that there's a part of her that's become desensitized, uh, partially due to her career choice. I just retired being an exotic dancer. Because it involves, you know, basically doing what you do to get the money. Maybe she's really learned as much as she can here. She's not attached to the money. Is she just going to stay here and enjoy it? Or is she going to actually do the work that some of the other guests at the time seem to be doing? There is less going on there than, for example, what's going on in Eric. I really don't think Lana meant it. And... I know she didn't. I told her that. I mean, I'm going to apologize to Lana again, because I don't think I was clear enough that, you know, she didn't really do anything wrong. I don't trust Eric, because I think he might be teaming up with Lana, at least for the time being, because she's like the trial winner. Like I said, if she wanted to screw you over, she wouldn't have said anything to you. Yeah. Now, if you were set up in a tie tonight or you had to vote, who would you eliminate? Honestly, I think I would say Noel at this point. Why would you like to, if you had to, see Noel eliminated tonight? Um, I personally haven't seen Noel change, really, from the time I met him and, you know, I, I kind of have a feeling if he goes home, he, uh, he would have had a great experience, but a comment he said to me also was that he knows what kind of changes he needs to make and that nothing that we've done right here has been like, like totally different from what he, he thinks he should change. Lana, thank you for joining us. You're now dismissed. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Lana. Thank you. Let's do a closing circle. Mm. Let us uh, tonight not make any hasty decisions. Let's practice what we preach.
Good evening, guests. One of you will be leaving tonight. Each one of us will cast our vote to eliminate you by placing our necklace around your neck. The guests with the most necklaces will be asked to leave the house at once. In the event of a tie, Lana, the winner of this week's trial, will cast the deciding vote. Nicole, the winner of last week's trial, where no one was eliminated, will also be safe from elimination. Nicole, please join Lana. I will cast the first vote. I will cast the first vote. The sages are speaking to you. The question is, will you heed the message? Or will you continue on the path that you have been on? Ashe. Art, will you please cast your vote? tonight. I hope you take back with you all that you've learned here. Don, will you please cast your vote? things have been going, I guess uh, you have been the one that's been lagging behind the most at the moment. Avocado, will you please cast your vote? Amazing gifts. Let your gifts shine. Thank you. Thank you. Noel has two necklaces. Eric has two necklaces. In the case of a tie, Lana, the winner of this week's trial, will cast the deciding vote. Fiona, would you please cast your vote? I think you are an exceptionally gifted person, but I'm concerned. If you win this money, you will become complacent. And your greatest ability as a creative individual, as a writer, would to really write what you have inside. You have to be challenged. And I know that the world will hear the words you have to write.
Ivana screwed me over. I think Iatashia got it back in her head that I was a pill-popping, uh, cold medicine junkie. No. Please step forward. Alts. to Lana. I know that Lana screwed me over because she's basically a 23-year-old chick who's never been laid. She's a tad naive, and basically she needs to grow up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all of you. Thank you. All of you. Although I have um, slight disagreements about your ways from time to time, in the end, it would do me no justice to focus on the negative. Although I said I was going out in a blaze of bullets, <laughs> I retract that thought. Namaste. 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 We release. Thank you. Thank you. I am transformed in no way. I'm getting kicked out for reasons which I believe are, are not valid. In the end, you know, I came in here happy and I'm leaving kind of bitter. <laughs>